Let's turn to something that's a little bit light and a little bit meta. Um, this is uh, Father's <laughs> Day is coming up, so I thought this would be a good time to bring this up. Um, it's two stories about Father's Day actually associated with this. Um, I don't know if you watched that uh, podcast, H3. It's a massive show. It's not really a podcast. It's a YouTube show. Um, and, I mean, massive. Massive. And um, this guy uh, hosted, uh, it's a name, Ethan Klein, is that it? And and I think, um, it, it, is that his wife too? Um, they, uh, they, I did do about a three-hour show. I don't know if it's every day. Um, but... It's it's uh it's it's it was very sweet. At the end of the show, they found out that they were pregnant with their second child. Very sweet. It was very sweet, and then it was uh, very sweet to watch it. And so that reminded me of Father's Day. And then the other part uh, that uh, reminded me about Father's Day was that uh, it's Hill Hill Hila uh, Hila I think her name is. She 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 actually texted her her doctor while they were on air and found out that they were pregnant. With the second child and i think they may have had some you know it was, it was difficult to do um and um so that was sweet that was very reminiscent of father's day and then the other thing they had just finished a segment about stephen crowder and every day is sort of father's day for him yeah it's um he's always trying to give his father a gift but his father always says this isn't good enough that's right yeah so it's this kind is, of a uh there's a it's real a great Santini thing. quality of this, but it's almost like, uh, like, you know, that it's like groundhog day for your disappointment. Yes. I think like, you know, cause Crowder has this thing. There's something inside of him that makes him feel like his wrestling coach of a dad who's now his manager isn't going to accept him as he is in some weird way. And I don't know. Maybe that's why he has to weightlift so much. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not. That's why I'm not a psychiatrist. Weightlift while you know wearing makeup and a woman's wig. It's it is. I mean, it's. I mean, he he does that because that's his his reporting. And um, so uh, they did a, a long segment on Crowder. Not hard to do because, of course, this guy's a joke, and um, he needs to feel make himself feel manly. He's got all these sort of like these things to sort of make him feel like he's more manly. Like he, he puts his bottle of whiskey on his desk and he has a holster. He carries around his, you know, his, uh, his penis substitute, mm -hmm. uh, in his holster. The, yeah. Those and, are always, Oh no gun. Is that what it's called? A gun. Okay. Yo, I'm gotcha, sorry. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. And, uh, he, he wears it around cause it makes him feel like he's ma like macho guy. He's a macho guy. And, um, but here is the best uh, part from my perspective, which I thought was pretty fun. Apparently, his producer Dan has seen a couple of the videos, and producer Dan was aware of the fact that um, we had played at one point a phone call that I had accidentally had recorded, uh, and I did distort the, the voice. So, but I do know her, and actually, it turns out we have a mutual friend, and I don't think she was bummed about it at all, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, Crowder was supposed to, and I were supposed to have a debate at Politicon like three years ago. And uh, it was all set to go. I was psyched. Not a big fan of those type of things, you know, the Politicon or whatever it is. But I was going to, and he but dropped like out. To argue, yeah. He dropped out. Hmm. And I said, what happened? And she said, well, he got cold feet. Hashtag cold feet Crowder. That's where the hashtag cold feet Crowder came from. And... It was she she said it. She actually said he got cold feet. Yes, she said he. Wow. Got, and he and, and she said yeah. I heard his people called me, and I said wait he's got people. What does that mean? He's got people, and she said well his dad, um. his dad is his manager, <laughs> and and then I don't know if even producer Dan was aware that I was going to uh, when Gavin McGinnis had his show was going to give me five grand. And I said, I'm not coming on your show for five grand. I'm, I'm just not interested. Even though I had to take it just a card to cross the bridge to go there. But we were, I was supposed to have a debate with him, with Crowder. Mm. And then Crowder told McGinnis, I won't show up if Sam's on the show. Supposedly because he had 2 million viewers on YouTube. And at the time I had 700,000 or whatever it was, or 500,000. Oh, he wouldn't want to debase himself. He wouldn't right? want to debase himself yet. 
He'll debate any college student with probably no followers on YouTube. And they it's don't weird. even have their emotional support little... Um, their holsters, holsters, yeah. Holsters, right, or their... Right. So here is uh, producer Dan uh, just taking advantage of the fact that they have a massive viewership and he knows that Crowder will see this. We've been talking about Crowder for long enough. In my yeah, opinion. yeah. I think okay, we'll do a Crowder long. content yeah. for it. That'd be fun. Uh, I'll just... This is... This is uh, not going to make sense to a lot of people, but just because I feel like there's a decent chance Steven Crowder will see this and this will be the only time that I get to say this. Debate Sam Cedar, dude. Stop being such a pussy. <laughs> uh, I know that your dad doesn't want you to. Uh, and, you know, but that was a long time ago. That was three You're You're three years older now. It's time. It's time to debate Sam. So do you want to give some context to that, Dan? <laughs> he. Uh, <laughs> There's a political uh, uh, YouTube channel called The Majority Report, and the host, Sam Cedar, uh, is one of those, like like Steven Crowder, he's a guy who likes to debate. And um, they had scheduled a debate at a big political convention uh, called Politicon uh, that they, you know, it was all like arranged and it was settled and everything. And um, Sam got a call, which he recorded and played on his show, uh, which is what makes it so good. So we mm -hmm. can validate this story um, where they explained that Steven had backed out and had gotten cold feet, which <laughs> earned him a nickname, Cold Feet Crowder. Which <laughs> go to any of his tweets on Twitter <laughs> is just to this day. It's full of that. Uh, and um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then they revealed that it was that his like handler his agent is basically his dad and his dad called them and was like he can't do it he's, so he's why did now. he why probably because he knew he was because get, sam cedar is in, yeah he's not a fucking 19 year old college student he, thought this he might actually knows what career. he's talking about yeah he was gonna get embarrassed and um his daddy said no yeah his daddy, daddy is said looking, no his daddy's looking out for him so um daddy do you like my holster <laughs> does it make me look big and tough so i don't know i never thought i would get the opportunity to send a message directly to crowder <laughs> and so i'm using this opportunity to say Debate, Daddy. Debate Sam Cedar, please. <laughs> Fucking owned. Good shit, Dan. He's going to get two more holsters on his legs now. <laughs> Daddy, do you, if, Daddy, do you like my holsters? I'm going to get a new holster that you like so I can look masculine and you'll be proud of me. There you go. Well That's done, amazing. producer Dan. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed that. I actually ended up watching a bunch of that show. They have that, uh, that do you see that TV thing they have in the background? It's yeah. amazing. That's a robot. Oh That's no a, way! I mean, it's on it's on a stick and wheels, and it was going around the office when he wasn't uh, when Ethan wasn't there one day. He was. I mean, they got a big complex. I don't know where they do this. I maybe in L.A. Um, That's pretty cool. Why don't we have one of those here? I mean, it looked a little pricey. <laughs> Look a little pricey, to be honest with you, but it looked cool. It looks super cool. I'm I'm all for them kind of uh, just ginning up some uh, some excitement around this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what is the show? I'm clueless. H three. I think Ethan. I feel like I I what is I know that guy from somewhere. I'm not sure, but um, I think he's he's friends with like um, with uh, with people. I'm 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 friends with in that comedy world a little bit. Um, oh, it's a comedy show. I mean, what's the premise of the show? I, think it, I only watch political shows. I have no idea what else is on the internet. Yeah, I had no idea too. I, the apparently, You're asking the right guy. Other shows <laughs> apparently that are not political in yeah, nature. I had no idea. Um, the robot is for their uh, employee who works in Sweden. Uh, apparently, it cost uh, four grand. So I'm writing a check. There you go, right there. Well, no. uh, good for those guys. H three. Um, so Sam, you can build a robot. You built everything on your set. It's just I can't. There's I, gonna be a lot of wires showing. Uh, there'll be the, a lot of wires showing. The uh, the yeah the over under on f words uttered as you built that robot. Pretty high, pretty high. But that's that's the way I get things done. 